you're concerned about joining the military at an older age, let me tell you my thoughts and my opinions on it, so stay tuned for more. So a lot of times people that are joining the military older may be having a lot of things on their head. They might think that they're a failure because they haven't accomplished anything in life. Uh, it's a young man's game. They might get a lot of ridicule or backlash for joining the military. I always getting don't want to get questioned for like, oh, what are you doing in life? Why did you join? You shouldn't be doing this. Uh, can you hang with us? Uh, a lot of times they may, may not think they're physically able to hang with the young youngins. I would say personally, anybody that's considered 23 and up, I would consider them an old head joining basic training just because of the people that are in charge are pretty much in the same age bracket. I would say from 23 to maybe 31. Most of them, most of the NCOs will be in that age bracket with exception maybe like a couple that might be 36 and up, maybe at the most. You're gonna have similar life experiences, differences, military experience, of course, uh, might have seven uh, plus years over you on some things. So you're gonna have that knowledge and expertise as far as guiding you. That's why they're instructing you or not. But as far as the dynamic amongst your, uh, your colleagues, I would say it's not that bad. You'll get a lot of respect. Um, a lot of times they'll look, a lot of the younger trainees will look to you for guidance or you'll have a different, you'll have honestly just a different opinion on things. You'll see things a kind of a different outlook. And if some things are going on as far as problems or concerns, you kind of had that life experience to kind of, you know, interact and just kind of help the younger people. Um, you, nobody generally messages you unless you kind of like, kind of act kind of crazy but most of the older people are consider are more chill the oldest person we have was like 45 years of age 46 i know uh, one of the things that would get on your nerves a little bit is you know like i said everybody's still gonna be young uh 19 year olds 20 year olds they're gonna be talking about the same stuff over and over and over it's not really gonna be too much that you can relate to on an everyday basis a lot of times you might have a real heart to heart or a rally conversation but those not gonna be your everyday pals so just having something recreational to kind of keep your mind things whether like reading a book a military book or something authorized or just doing something that can occupy your time when you start seeing foolery you know childish stuff going on and so and so you don't just lose your mind or be overly cranky or reactive when someone does kind of like bother you a little bit but overall or you can just like i said it's there's always somebody in the bay that you can relate to whether older or commonalities or where you're from or area so if you can just interact with people kind of get a gauge on commonalities with people you'll probably find someone that you can interact with a lot where you won't have to even think about what foolishness some of the other people in the bay does so but most likely the older people carry themselves well you know it is weird because like you will think when you go to basic training right that the people that look old are actually old. The people that look the oldest are normally the youngest. So if you see a guy that is balding, or he just does he he doesn't age well, got wrinkles, gray hair, I'll say like nine times out of ten, they probably like 21, 19 years old. Like they not, they don't age well. And the maybe the younger people that probably the more the chill younger looking face people unless they have a pure baby 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 face like they like they just came out of high school they those are normally the ones that are usually the older uh soldiers going in and kind of have a certain demeanor about themselves kind of have a lot of experience and very knowledgeable and inquisitive i would say during my time as an older soldier in, um in, uh, that joined i never had any issues uh kind of similar i was saying that a lot of times that maybe like one of my colleagues might have like an issue i'll sit down talk to them provide real perspective on what's going on like a lot of times a lot of times it was a lot of heart to hearts because a lot of times you older you pretty much could be their older brother or their uncle or with some cases with some people you can be their dad age so it's just an interesting like you know emotional connection that you kind of build amongst your colleagues however one of the disadvantages in the same breath uh, being an older statesman and having that parental aura to you is that you don't mind your business on certain dynamics. You kind of get a habit of overstepping on a situation that don't got nothing to do with you. And a lot of times you don't talk to them as a colleague in certain situations, like that lack of social awareness, and you try to talk to them like you're their, they're your child. Only thing I do advise you not to do, don't use your age as a complaint. So if you're doing certain exercises, nobody wanna hear you moaning, moaning, moaning and groaning 
about, oh, I can't do this, my back hurt, I'm getting old, I can't run. As long as you're not making excuses for yourself for being old, because at the end of the day, we all doing it. Why you join if you think you're too old to get it? And people will, like, snark at you. Actually, no no lie, nobody really target uh, someone, particularly for their age. It was more just on their character and how they acted amongst the group. They can be real. they real snarky, it's not because they were older. It's normally because they were just snarky and just being rude or disrespectful. But I've never seen no one that directly targeted anybody for the age. They kind of just like I'll say also in a, I'll say also in the same breath for older uh, soldiers, including myself. You already have a certain way of thinking. It's already programmed your head and kind of adjusting into more uh, innovative mindset can be an issue because you kind of already set in your ways or you become too strict on protocol because you're focused a lot on doing things too correctly so a lot of times you end up becoming too controlling or too pass offy and not want to do anything it's always the extreme on on the ends i'll say another disadvantage of being older especially if you haven't been living a very physical lifestyle is just kind of readjusting to being talked to like a kid if something happens, not you getting in trouble for, everybody getting in trouble for. It's in being in that dynamic and making sure that you hold your composure from not talking to people like you're the, they're your child or overstepping your limits. And also following a program that imagine you 35 years old, 40 years old, 29, 30. Now you got someone else telling you what, you do, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how long. You can't do things that you was doing 10 years uh, out of your adult life. Now it's back restricted, like, and you gotta be taught the basic life skills that you already been living. Or you come, you get too judgmental. Like, you'll start looking at people like, hey, how you don't know how to do this? How y'all don't do this? Why y'all can't do this? And sometimes if you don't like know how to interact with people, you can kind of come off uh, condescending. I personally haven't seen nobody like that. It was actually one person that was older that was kind of like that, but again, it wasn't on a merit of because they're older we felt like this it was normally like i said how they carry themselves as a person not because of their age that was the issue i would say like i said just be a little understanding don't overstep your boundaries you know stay out the way don't be in the drama for most people that are older they're normally more squared away people uh, you never really had to say too much to them they kind of just kind of just handled their business and was out some got in trouble but not as much as a younger one as far as what they mouth or something like that so it is what it is so let me know your thoughts if you're an older uh, statesman that's thinking about joining let me know what concerns you might have i can uh if i see it i can comment below or etc so let me know what you guys think and i'm out go on.